This was a FLIP3 inhibitor that we were developing in collaboration with, of all companies, Fujifilm. Now, this was a beautiful drug. Uh, it's irreversible and therefore impervious to the effects of FLIP3 ligand. It hit every known mutation that we could find in FLIP3 and we designed a dose that worked perfectly. Then the pandemic hit. And the sponsoring company, Fujifilm, because they have so many different aspects of their corporate productivity, they literally just kind of shut this branch down during the COVID pandemic as they turned resources towards the pandemic. At least this was what I was told. We literally had developed a beautiful drug and it does not at the present seem like it's going to go anywhere because this, the industry sponsor is not interested in developing it further, even though it worked as we wanted. However, there is another irreversible drug from Biomea that's under development that I think can potentially have similar positive properties. Well, it's an irreversible uh, inhibitor, different from the other inhibitors, which are of course reversible. It is more potent um, and uh, remember, FLIP3 ligand is universally produced and actually competes against the drugs. Uh, Quisartinib, gilteritinib, mitostarin bumps them off the inhibit, bumps, bumps them off the receptor. You can't bump off uh, an irreversible FLIP3 inhibitor, so it really shuts the receptor down. But importantly, it has a short half-life so that it can go away quickly. One problem with quisartinib and gilteritinib is with their long half-life, you can't shut them off. And so if they're inhibiting normal hematopoiesis, you're in trouble. Whereas with this drug, you can inhibit it and then turn it off instantly. So there's a lot of advantages to the irreversible approach.